All right, guys, and welcome back to the channel. Right, in this episode, we're going to be fitting this Astra GTE Digi Dash to this Mark 1 C20 LED converted Nova GTE. So, what's required to fit a Digi Dash into a Mark 1 Vauxhall Nova? Well, sadly, there's quite a lot. In a Mark 2, it's a lot easier because this surround here unbolts and the Speedo can sit behind it and then the surround can go back on. In a Mark 1, the Speedo tilts and locks in. So unfortunately, this speedo is actually slightly smaller than a GTE speedo, meaning it doesn't just slot in. So you've got to take the full dashboard out, so let's make a start. So the first thing I'm going to do is remove the steering wheel. Now this is a factory three spoke, the horn just pulls off, like so, wires pull off the back. Then you have, I believe a 22mm nut behind it, like so. And then I'm going to use a dedicated Vauxhall steering wheel puller. Now this is like 11 quid from Laser. Really handy and it's so much easier to get these off than just trying to pull it. And if you do pull it, sometimes you can break them. So this is a preferred method for me. And look at that, really easy. Right, next job is to take this cowling off, then start taking all the switch gear, etc. out. Phillips screwdriver. So we've got a Phillips screw in there, there, there and there. And then you've got two across here, really easy. These switches just prise out, the light pulls out the back and the plug unplugs, really simple. So the ashtray just pulls out, you literally drop it down, pull it forward. So this is held on, there's a screw under here, Phillips, a screw under here, Phillips. And then this panel just pulls out. There's one screw around here, you can't quite see it. There's heat control panel, and that's it. Really simple. The wires simply pop out of that, again, really easy. And that is off. So to get the speedo out, you literally push the top corners and it pivots out. Once this panel's out, you can get to the back. You can put your finger on the speedo cable drive. There's a little sprung clip, push it at the bottom and that will pull forward. And then it's just a case of unplugging the plug out the back and that is the speedo out. This cowling is a bit awkward, but it will come. It's going to take your time. Push the dash in a bit. There we go. Out like so. There's two little pegs holding these in. And again, the plugs are just prior. They're the two little pegs. Hope you can see them. Push them in, they slide out. You can fit TVR ones of these because that's the same as a TVR, believe it or not. Topped it from me. Other side, just the same. Fuse box cover just pulls off. And there's a couple of tabs at the bottom of the fuse box. And then it just pulls out. Headlight switch, just the same, little tab on the bottom. Two little fingers here, push them in, it pulls out. Radius around just pulls off normally, sometimes a little tab. Obviously this is aftermarket, so it doesn't really matter. Bit of a mess behind here, if I'm honest. I need to tidy some of this up. For example, I don't like them chocolate blocks. Got a couple of screws on the side of the dash. On the early Mark 1, you just got one. Um, but obviously, this is a later Mark 1, so they come out. And this little area cost me 200 quid. Yes, the camera broke. Gutted. Never mind, onwards and upwards. Right, let's move back to the dash removal. The 10 mil nut, just here. Behind there, and there's also one behind the glove box. 
unbolt them and from memory it should just pull out so glove box is held on with a few screws a phillips screws i think there's some underneath as well nice and easy you don't have to take this out from memory but i'm gonna just to make it a bit easier to access that 10 mil nut and then that is that and that is the dashboard out right now it's like start making the wiring look a bit neater i could also start fitting the astra gt dash loom right so liam's just arrived to help out i've tidied up the rest of the original nova loom i strapped up a lot of the c20 loom out the way just to make it all fit nicely the ecu does need mounting but i'll do that once the dash is back in i've retaped a lot of the loom with cloth tessa tape it looks loads better and i've also trimmed back and prepped the dash room so i can start joining them up liam's fitted the speedo drive transducer and fed the loom through the original speedo grommet so it looks really factory these are three wires a brown which is an earth a black which is an ignition positive and then the red blue which is the sensor output wire that goes directly to the speedo these just connect with the original nova loom and the astro gt loom you kind of tie them all in together right let's start soldering everything together so top tip from me is do not forget to slide the heat shrink on first i've done this countless times and it's very frustrating because you have to redo your work another is to make sure the heat shrink is far enough down the wire so it doesn't actually shrink when you heat it up i always strip the wires back around 10 mil then i twist them together and solder both at the same time i find it a really easy way of doing it and it's also really neat and if done right it shouldn't be any thicker or barely any thicker than the original wire the astro loom and nova loom literally join together the color for color really straightforward you will have a few wires left over these aren't needed but don't worry about them just tape them up out the way take your time with it and try and make sure all the wires are the same length this will really help when it comes to taping the loom up finally once everything's soldered up slide over the heat shrink and then use a heat gun or a blowtorch just to shrink the insulation down it's now time to plug everything in and make sure it works boom looks like it does to me Right, let's move on to the dashboard trimming. Right, so we've got the dash outside. It's a lovely evening. Speedo's here. What I've done, I've got a bit of cardboard and I've just taken a template of the profile of the Speedo. Right, the curve on the Astra Speedo is actually more curved, more severe, I suppose, than the Nova one. So I need to translate this to the dashboard because at the minute, that isn't even close to fitting as you can see it's absolutely miles out there and it's also catching a duct in so yeah we need to do lots of trimming so my template is just going to go about here i'm going to use the original top edge and then just trim the bottom edge to suit uh, i'm going to trim a little bit and then just go from there i'm not really sure i'm going to cut it yet but i'm going to mark it first i think that's the line i've marked hoping if i cut these bits out the dash is going to fit in okay behind it let's give it a go i use my trusty grinder with a one millimeter cutting disc on the dash i couldn't get into the corner so i used a hot knife i heated this up with a blowtorch first it went through like a hot knife through butter i took my time and did bit by bit until i was really happy with it once everything was cut out i smoothed some of the reinforced areas with a flat disc on the back just to give me a bit more space right so i've trimmed it all back now these are the bits i've cut off as you can see there's quite a lot um, i've gone around with a file and some 180 sandpaper just clean the edge up and some 320 sandpaper as well just to finish it off and i'm really happy with the cut out i think it looks really nice and it's going to fit really well i think and here's the back side as you can see i've had to cut all this right back there was a quite a thick edge here what had to be cut off massive amount had to be cut off here also, this duct in here was foul in the clock, so I've just heated it over a blowtorch and pushed it in, hoping I can do that with the other piece. That means I don't have to cut anything. I've trimmed the lugs off the top of the dash as well. And there we go, guys. As you can see, it's really nicely. Edges look really good. I just need to hope it stays in that position when I bolt it all up. If not, I might have to make some kind of bracket. But yeah, I think that looks very fractory, and I don't think you're going to really know if it's been modified. The deck shuffle for that. So I've just heated this bit of the top duct in and I've stretched it with heat and a ball pane hammer like so. 
just basically got it hot, pushed it in, got it hot, pushed it in. Just started to split here because it was getting a bit thin, so I've just put some foil ducting tape on it. And that just clears the dash well enough. There's the other end. Slots on like so. And it's just enough room for the Mark II Digi Dash. Right, so Digi Dash is fitted. I've needed the wiring up. I think we're now at the point where we can stick the dashboard in. Now it's getting late, you can probably tell it's getting dark outside. But I just want to shove the dash in and see if it fits. So let's do it. This was a fiddly job but made much easier with an extra pair of hands. I will just say the Digi Dash is very tight across the back of the bulkhead, but it does go in, you just have to take your time. Right guys, I'm knackered, so it's time for bed. Right guys, I stayed up really late last night, but we got it done. I'm absolutely thrilled with the overall finish. I think it looks really good. And I think they should have come like this from factory. Now look at this dash. Tell me that is not stunning. We also fitted a nice Astra GTE 16 valve steering wheel, which just complements the whole thing and ties the whole thing in together. Yeah, to say I'm thrilled is an understatement. Everything's hidden, everything's out of the way, everything's tidied up, and we know it's going to be nice and reliable. So, I think I deserve a subscribe for this. Let me know what you think in the comments box below, and stay tuned for next week, where we'll get a little bit more done. See you later, guys. Bye-bye.